So unfortunately this year, manufacturing has taken a lot longer than we were expecting, which meant we've got a lot less time for testing. Uh, I think in future years, they should try and push it forward um, and use the, what we've learned from this year uh, to build a car quicker and get it out on track. Before we came to competition, that car had only done about six laps of a go-kart track, which for a former student car isn't enough when you want to be confident that you're gonna do an endurance race. A lot of manufacturing, uh, because of COVID knowledge transfer with manufacturing, we just didn't have the experienced people this year in the team, so there's a lot of people welding for the first time, uh, filing for the first time, all that, so that was a bit slower than we would have liked, so it pushed us up closer to comp, so we were less prepared. Uh, yeah. Dealing with manpower, we had, um, we had quite a few people drop out towards the middle of the year and they were on critical areas, but members of our team, they took the challenge and we managed to get here to this point and yeah stepping up was the people stepping up was great right again it's the same issue complexity uh, we built a new battery for example and it turns out that the cooling plate is leaking obviously very big problem oh what went wrong well uh, in my opinion, I think the biggest difficulty that I've faced with building the vehicle this year is the difference between the CAD models that people design and the real ones when they come out. And when you come to fit it on the car, it, does, it just doesn't fit. Um, having to find out uh, answers to these problems is probably one of the difficult things, you know, spending 15, 16 hour days for the last few weeks uh, trying to get it running and then rerunning all the simulation software like ANSYS and FEA. Yeah. I think it's a very, very steep learning curve. Yeah. It's uh, from, from CAD models, which is kind of virtual to the real life. There's a lot of things that go into it with technical drawings, speaking to suppliers, manufacturers, how, is it actually manufacturable or not, all this stuff. Yeah. So it's a, it's a very good learning process, but it's a really hard one as well. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> the car doesn't run, so we, we do have it here, but it's not gonna go anywhere, unfortunately. Um, so that's probably something that I'd like to have to be avoided. Um, with missing out on the first six months, uh, the uni was uh, a bit stringent on who could actually get access, uh, so we didn't really have too much team uh, at the start of the year, um, so it pushed everything back and we got to a week before competition having never driven the car, um, still trying to iron out issues and yeah. Okay, so yesterday, I wouldn't say it really went wrong because it was nice as well because we, we saw the teamwork. Yeah. So basically yesterday during sprint, our brake fluid started leaking and we literally had 15 minutes to get it sorted and go back to the sprint before sprint closes. So we and had to fully disassemble the, the front brakes, bleed them uh, uh, and get back into scrutineering to get the brakes checked again. Uh, and get to the sprint. Luckily, we was about a minute too late, but it really showed how the team worked managed to work yeah. work together. We're able to show like good teamwork and yeah. determination. It was, it, was, it was very good for us to know that yes, teamwork is actually very important. Yeah. Lots of things. So the bodywork um, that went wrong. We, were, we had to redesign our bodywork because we designed something that's a bit big for the machines that we could use. Lots of things went wrong actually. <laughs> Well, after two years of COVID, we restart the project and it's run the statics. We learn a lot in these things and I think we learn a, a, a lot about materials, mat materials, sorry. So the next year I'm going to change a lot of things to do a better scrutiny and pass to static, to dynamic, sorry. What went wrong? We slipped down the rankings in the business plan presentation slightly. Um, possibly should have prepared better for that. and. Uh, looked more into the finances of that because I think uh, we got tripped up by the judges slightly there. Uh, it took us a while to get through scrutineering but obviously we're one of the ones that have so far so um, there's a negative there because we had to attempt it a lot of times but we still got through it so I guess that's a bit of both. Um, 
we've we've got here. Like we've brought our car, we've passed the scrutiny ring, and now we're trying to pass the brake test. So and we I think we're on a good track. So I think yeah, that that went well. And yeah, so one of the most challenging things we come across this year is, is just learning to deal with um, potentially just. Uh, some downsides. So we've had some electrical issues this year and then there's a mechanical based team that actually that's a little bit out of our control zone so we've just got to be aware that electrically you've got to be aware that they have to work a little bit harder and you might have to sit on the, on the sideline and there's not much you can do. That can sometimes be quite tough to not, to not be able to help even though you want to where you can. Um, I think trying to factor in more of the external factors which would have delayed our testing time. Uh, so we did everything we could in-house to make sure that we could be ready on time but Things that we couldn't consider as much like uh, supply chain issues and uh, buying things from for, uh, foreign goods, which delayed our, t uh, we delayed our manufacturing and obviously our testing as well. So considering those more in future would definitely be beneficial. Yeah, always a, a brilliant question. Um, yeah, for us, uh, we probably didn't spend enough time testing a lot of things um, in the sense of the whole vehicle aspect. Um, we got through a lot of the uh, EV side of the group, but it was just the final things that if we'd spend a bit more time testing, we could have really ironed those out and be more clinical when it came to scrutineering. Yeah, so again, uh, scrutineering was something we thought we were prepared for, but not really is what we realized. So we need to prepare more in that regard. And also in the cost event, we struggled a little bit. So yeah, maybe talking to more alums and other teams will help us in that. Well, Imran, so last year uh, we had a really good car. It was very reliable. Uh, somehow we missed it this year uh, with some of the new components and some of the new system we have designed. So, um, yeah, the car wasn't really ready for scrutinizing and that took very, very long time to get through. And then uh, we didn't manage to get through some of the events because we weren't a actually able to run in them. Uh, <laughs> where, just, where, where do we start? Um, yeah, we've got about three A4 pages there written down we can write to you or we can show to you. But yeah. uh, I'd say, honestly, just kind of timing. We were just way too rushed at the end. If we'd kind of managed our time a lot better, we probably could have had a working car, but then scrutineering is so hard to pass. Yeah, so I think the experience will really do as well. 